Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into ethical hacking, penetration testing, or just getting started with cybersecurity, then today's video is for you. We're going to dive into eight powerful hacking tools that every ethical hacker should know about. And remember, this is for educational purposes only. Let's use our skills responsibly to strengthen cybersecurity. All right, let's kick things off with Tool X. Tool X is specifically designed for Termux users, and it's an absolute game changer, especially if you're working within a mobile environment. Imagine having access to over 370 hacking tools at your fingertips with just one click. Tool X simplifies the entire process of downloading and installing various hacking utilities. No more scouring the internet for hours on end, trying to find the right tool for the job. Need to scan a network for vulnerabilities? Tool X has got you covered. Want to test the strength of passwords? Boom, Tool X has a tool for that too. You can even find tools for launching DOS attacks, all within this single package. Tool X is incredibly powerful, so it's crucial that you only use it for ethical hacking and educational purposes. One of the things I love about Tool X is how user-friendly it is. You can easily browse through the different categories of tools, search for specific tools by name and install them with just a few taps. And because ToolX is constantly being updated with new tools and features, you can be sure that you're always getting access to the latest and greatest in ethical hacking tools. Next up, we're diving into the world of social engineering with the Social Engineering Toolkit, or SET for short. Social engineering is all about deception. It's about tricking people into giving up sensitive information that they shouldn't, like passwords, credit card details, you name it. And SET gives you the power to simulate real-world social engineering attacks in a safe and controlled environment. Think of SET as your own personal social engineering lab. You can use it to craft convincing phishing emails, create fake websites, and even launch attacks over the phone. It comes with a wide range of pre-built attack vectors that you can use right out of the box. For example, you could use SET to create a phishing campaign that targets your employees with emails that look like they're from a trusted source. As they interact with these emails, SET will track their every move, giving you valuable insights into how susceptible they are to social engineering attacks. This information can then be used to improve your organization's overall security posture. All right, let's move on to a toolkit that lives up to its name, Easy underscore Hack. This one's a real gem, especially if you're just starting out in the world of ethical hacking. Easy underscore Hack is designed with simplicity in mind. It works seamlessly on both Android and Windows, so you can use it on the go or from the comfort of your own computer. It's packed with tools for generating payloads, exploiting Wi-Fi networks, and more. The developers have made the interface intuitive and easy to navigate, even if you're not a tech-savvy person. Now, even though easy underscore hack makes hacking seem easy, it's important to remember that you should only use it for ethical hacking and educational purposes. If you're new to ethical hacking, easy underscore hack is a great tool to start with. It gives you a taste of what's possible without overwhelming you with complex commands and configurations. And as you gain more experience, you can move on to more advanced tools and techniques. Up next, we have Hammer, a tool that's specifically designed for denial of service or DOS attacks. DOS attacks are no joke. When used maliciously, they can bring down websites and online services, causing all sorts of disruption. But Hammer isn't designed for malicious purposes. It's a tool for ethical hackers and system administrators to test the resilience of their own servers. Think of it like this. You're building a house and you want to make sure it can withstand a hurricane, so you create a simulated hurricane in a controlled environment to see how the house holds up. That's essentially what Hammer does for your servers. It simulates a massive influx of traffic, overloading the server with requests. This allows you to identify any weaknesses in your server's configuration and make the necessary adjustments to improve its ability to handle real-world traffic spikes. Only use Hammer on servers that you own or have permission to test. Let's talk about ARAT, which stands for Android Remote Administration Tool. If you're into mobile security and want to see how vulnerable Android devices can be, ARAT is your new best friend. ARAT is all about simulating advanced attacks on Android devices, and it's scary how much control you can gain. 
Imagine being able to control an Android phone remotely, accessing files, taking screenshots, even recording audio, all without the user having a clue. By understanding how ARAT works, security professionals can better protect Android devices from real-world attacks. One of the key features of ARAT is its ability to remain stealthy. Once installed on a target device, it can operate in the background, making it incredibly difficult to detect. This makes it an ideal tool for penetration testers who need to simulate real-world attack scenarios. ARAT can also be used for legitimate purposes like remote administration and troubleshooting. For example, a system administrator could use ARAT to remotely access and manage company-owned Android devices, ensuring that they are properly configured and secured. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Now let's dive into the world of Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT, with a tool called IP Tracer. This one's for all you aspiring detectives out there who love digging up information from publicly available sources. IP Tracer is all about tracing IP addresses. But it's more than just looking up an IP address in a database. It's about connecting the dots, gathering clues, and building a profile of your target. You feed it an IP address and it scours the internet for any information it can find. This could include the target's geographic location, their internet service provider, the type of device they're using, and even their social media profiles. Using IP Tracer for any illegal or unethical purpose is a big no-no. This tool is designed for security professionals, researchers, and anyone else who needs to gather information from publicly available sources for legitimate purposes. When used responsibly, IP Tracer can be an incredibly powerful tool for OSINT. It can help you track down cyber criminals, identify potential security threats, and even gather intelligence on competitors. All right, let's talk about a toolkit that's gained quite a bit of notoriety thanks to its appearance in the TV show. I'm talking about the F Society Toolkit. Now, if you're a fan of the show, you already know that this toolkit is all about taking down evil corporations and fighting for social justice. But in the real world, the F Society Toolkit is a powerful collection of tools that can be used for a variety of ethical hacking and penetration testing tasks. And the best part? It's surprisingly user-friendly, even if you're not a coding whiz. One of the things that makes the F Society Toolkit so cool is its modular design. It's essentially a collection of different scripts and tools that you can mix and match to suit your needs. Need to crack a password? The F Society Toolkit has got you covered. Want to scan a network for vulnerabilities? Boom, it's got a tool for that too. It's like having a toolbox full of specialized tools, each designed for a specific task. The F Society Toolkit is highly customizable. Whether you're a seasoned ethical hacker or just starting out, the F Society Toolkit is a great option to have in your arsenal. Last but not least, let's talk about Seeker, a tool that specializes in GPS-based location tracking. Seeker works by sending a seemingly harmless link to the target device. Once the target clicks on the link, Seeker springs into action, using the device's GPS capabilities to pinpoint their location. It's like having a virtual tracking device, but without the need for any physical installation. Seeker isn't just about tracking people's movements, it can also be used for a variety of other purposes, like recovering lost or stolen devices, providing location-based services, and even conducting market research. For example, let's say you're a company that's developing a new location-based app. You could use Seeker to track the movements of beta testers to see how they're using the app and identify any areas for improvement. Or let's say you're a security researcher who's studying the movements of cyber criminals. Seeker could be used to track the physical location of these criminals, providing valuable intelligence to law enforcement agencies. That's it for today's video on the top 8 ethical hacking tools. Whether you're just getting started in cybersecurity or you're already deep into penetration testing, these tools will help you take your skills to the next level. Just remember, always use these tools ethically and responsibly. Cybersecurity is all about protecting systems, not breaking them. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. Let me know in the comments which tools you'd like to see in action and until next time, stay safe and hack responsibly.